You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. And I'll tell you what, we've got a great business that's sponsoring this hour today. It's the fabulous little coffee shop called Romancing the Bean in downtown Littleton. Oh yeah, Old Town Littleton with the uh, the old train depot. Isn't that where that is? It is is the old train depot. It is actually a historic building. And it has been converted into a coffee shop. And so when you go in, you can see just, I don't know, there's not a whole lot of really old buildings right. around. You know, I went to Europe with my family many years ago, and a yeah, well, 100-year-old building is nothing yeah, over seriously. there. But here, it, it's it's quite the historic monument. And Romancing the Bean is quite quaint little coffee shop. The light rail goes through there, so you can quickly jump off the light rail, grab your coffee, and get right back on in just a moment. They do a fun little thing with their pricing you don't have to pay tax so what you know it's already built into the price built in, right. it's built in so what you see is what you get and you don't have to like fumble and try and make change because you're trying to make the train when it comes to the customer experience over there oh they got it down they've done a fantastic job the actual address is 5800 south prince street in littleton stop by and get your uh, fine coffees and mochas and teas today want to see a really cool picture go to romancing the bean littleton.com because that's got a beautiful uh sunset photo of of the little depot and i think it's fantastic yeah they participate in all the downtown parades and community events and they're they're really involved in the community i love them check them out romancing the bean the little coffee shop um you definitely want to get your coffee someplace that you know that they love you at and they do over there hey do you like stuff posing as meat excuse me do you like stuff Posing? posing I, as I think when you put the word posing in, it just eliminates anything I'd be interested in. Well, no posers allowed. Some people really like spam. It's true. And like, no, no. In fact, I think two of my friends today on Facebook got spammed. That's what I'm thinking right here, and this is why I'm bringing it up, because uh, one of your friends uh, passed away last year, and he's still posting. Yeah, I got it. I got a friend for, uh, notice from my friend that so you know it's spam. I got it from somebody I know, and now somebody that I know is no longer with us. That's so. right. So if you're out there on Facebook and you see something from Fox News talking about uh, clinical injections and have heard of raspberry, don't click on that. No, Dave Simonson, stop sending it to me. <laughs> it's not his fault. No, it isn't. No. No, change your password. That's right. what you have to do. So when you start seeing stuff like this go along, you know, and you're on, you know, with the emails and social media and things like that, this might just be a good day to say, change your password. I'll say that's a, a little gimme from our friends over at C Squared Computer Consulting. Mm-hmm. Um, if you didn't, oh, we didn't do Back It Up Day we last didn't. week. I totally forgot. Uh-oh. May second was Back It Up Day. Well, back up your back data. Back up your data and change your password day is today. Um, Okay, so we had Cinco de Mayo. We had May the 4th be with you, which was Star... Today is Revenge of the Sixth. Revenge of... Yeah, that's what my daughter was saying. Mm -hmm. It's Revenge of the Sixth. And so how fun is that? There's always something to market. There's always something to campaign about. And when it comes to putting your brand out in front of your clients, make sure that they've got something catchy to think about you. We get so boring when it comes to what we do. I sell insurance. Yay. (laughs) <laughs> well, seriously. Hey, come on, snap out of it. Yeah, you know, I sell watches, and I, this is what I sell. But when you think about all the fun ways that you can comment and brand and talk about your company, the resources are unlimited. They are absolutely endless, especially if you have access to the Internet. Everything is out there, and so you can match your brand, kind of, what do they say, ride the horse the direction it's going. And so if May, May the, no, Revenge of the Sixth. Revenge of the Sixth. If, it's part you know, of the Star Wars culture. I know. So what can we you know, do to kind of wrap your head around that? I don't have the answer. I'm just rambling at this point. Well, but. it's all good. Hey, you don't need to ramble. You don't need to go anywhere. But I would turn up the volume on your radio because when we come back, you might be feeling a little overwhelmed. But we've got some great creative and critical thinking coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30-second sales pitch ready. Your network is your net worth. 
but only if you're networking with your A-team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive-by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufactured products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. If you're ready to get serious about your health, then experience the BioT difference. BioT Medical's all natural testosterone pellet therapy is the safest and most effective way to increase your testosterone levels. Testosterone therapy not only improves your energy and libido, but also protects against heart disease, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, and prostate cancer. Go to BioTMedical.com to find a BioT certified practitioner near you. That's B I O T E Medical.com. Your photographs are your treasures. Your art collection means something to you. And that jersey you won in that silent auction is providing you with tons of bragging rights. So it matters to you where you have it framed. Trust your framing to the experts at Frame the Art. The experts with heart. What matters to you matters to Frame the Art. Don't drop your treasures off at a warehouse. Call Frame the Art. 303-722-1525. 303-722-1525. Located just north of Dartmouth on South Broadway in Englewood. Frame the Art. It matters. Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at almcmortgage.com. almcmortgage.com. LMB number 1000 and MLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. Hey, this is Eric, and I've just got to say, if your website isn't working for you, I mean really working for you, you need to call Donna Galassi. Donna owns Blue Zenith Web Designs, and before you start making excuses about how much it costs and you don't know what you want, pick up the phone and call Donna at 720-248-8431. That's 720-248-8431. Donna designed our website, and she can design yours, too. Take a look at her work at BlueZenith.com. You're going to love working with Donna at BlueZenith.com. Business owners, I'm Dave Ramsey, and I want you to listen to the most positive small business talk show in America, The Experience Pros, with my friends Angel and Eric, mornings at 10, right before The Dave Ramsey Show at noon, on The Source, KLZ 560. The Dave Ramsey Show, noon to 3, on KLZ 560, The Source. Hi, this is Bob Berg, co-author of The Go-Giver. You're listening to The Experience Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. Speaking of time, we all have the same 24 hours, and it is easy, I mean really understandable, to be overwhelmed by how much has to get done within that time frame. You know, absolutely. I go to these business conferences, or I even listen to some of the guests here on the Experience Pros Radio Show, and they all have these really great ideas and these great books and all this stuff for us to do. As business professionals, it, it doesn't take long for us to feel overwhelmed. Well, our next guest is going to help us through all of that. He's going to help us strengthen our critical thinking and our creativity, especially for those of us that are overwhelmed. Cray Kner is the owner of Kner Learning Center out of Wisconsin, which is a startup company that launched in 2009. And his primary research focuses on the interplay of critical thinking research and literacy. Cray, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Oh, thank you for having me. Cray, I got a question just to start off the, the, the conversation, if you will. 
You know, uh, we, we've heard that entrepreneurs get to work half days. That's why we got off the 9 to 5 and jumped into the uh, entrepreneurial half day. But those half days typically go from 7 to 7 or 8 to 8. Uh, we're, we're, how do you fit everything into, how do you tell a professional to, uh, to, to fit growth into the daily routine when all we're trying to do is survive and have some kind of a family life? <laughs> it's, it, it's hard. And, and, and the biggest thing is to find things that you can actually put in the gaps that appear. Um, sometimes you can put aside intentional time, but we all know that, that life kind of comes up. But there are always gaps. You know, either you're, you're waiting for a flight um, or you're waiting at soccer practice. Um, and sometimes, you know, you can schedule like a half hour of family reading time. It sounds insane, but it's actually good for everyone. Oh, I bet, uh, I bet that's... I bet that's a real, you know, you think Anne, about the, the olden days where they would gather around the radio at the end of the day and relax and listen to a story. And so having that half hour reading time, I don't know, for me, I would love that. Cast suspicion. But, you know, trying to get everybody to unplug that. There's another challenge right there. It is. And, and, and that's really, um, you know, the, the half hour, you know, you're not doing that every night. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it's something that, you know, sometimes you, you can set aside. But there's definitely the, those crevices, like I said, you know, if you're, like, waiting to pick people up um, or whatever. And you just have to make certain you actually have the things available for those crevices of time when they appear. You know, and, and, and we can all I mean, start to imagine there are some gaps of time. And if we're prepared, my son brought a book to um, the baseball game yesterday. And I thought, well, you're not going to be able to... to read your book during the baseball game but before we were waiting for our tickets to get in he actually sat down and did some reading and one of the things that you really focus on helping business leaders is what you call paradigm altering reading and so using these gaps of time to make sure you're filling them with what you call paradigm altering reading what does that mean well it's it's really easy to either just read books in your trade or to spend most of your time reading John Grisham novels or Robert Ludlum or something like that. And all of those are fine. But you need to make time to read things that are entirely outside of your realm of experience. This is what allows you to come up with new ideas. And this is also what allows you to develop those interesting conversations with potential clients or even current clients. Because if, you just, if you're a CPA and all you do is talk about taxes, they're going to say, oh, yeah, this guy did my taxes, and he's great. But if also you can mention something else, you know, in your short time meeting with them, those are the things that really bring your name to the conversation and allow your business to grow and allow you to just think about things in different ways and have better conversations with your kids if you have them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, Craig, you, you, what you say makes a lot of sense. And, uh, you know, John Grisham is who he is, uh, but you, everybody knows James Patterson is the uh, the, the uh, author of choice, uh, at least here at the Experience Bros. I just finished a James Patterson uh, book. And interestingly enough, I had a conversation about that book on the way into the studio today. Oh, um, and, and But you're right. Any of those those things that are going outside the discipline, what about the people who, you know, they read contracts for a living? They're, maybe they're lawyers or they're, they're uh, I don't know, they're, they're just reading all the time. What? How do you inspire them to get outside of their box? Because, frankly, picking up a book is the last thing they want to do. I, I understand. I mean, that's actually something that I've run into myself. I spend so much time having to read for my job that I literally don't want to pick up another thing to read. And one of the things that you can do is, you know, having books on tape. Um, you know, my, my brother has like a 45-minute commute, and when he moved into a management position, I got him getting to yes on tape. And while you're in the car, um, or again waiting, you can sometimes just listen to these as opposed to actually having to use your eyes. And, and then the other thing is that if it's tiny enough and it's different enough, you may find that you're actually able to read a little bit. If it's the same thing, you're absolutely right. You're done. Absolutely. Now, I, I've got a stack of books sitting on my on my nightstand, and the industry that we're in, we, we are the recipients of a lot of books. I used to be this avid reader, but I just, I can't keep up, and so it does get to be, to be overwhelming. And then I think, you know, well, should my vacation reading be different than my work reading, or because of what you're talking about being that more well-rounded, are they the same? Well, it's, it depends on the person. Some people are really good at carving out those 10 minutes during their actual work week and when they're on vacation, nothing intense. And other people don't want any of that during their work time, but on their vacations, that's when they can lock in for like a half hour in a difficult book. And you kind of have to figure out which sort of person you are. 
Uh, the important thing is that you actually do push yourself at some point, even if it's just for 15 minutes. You'd be surprised at what 15 minutes can do. Mm-hmm. But the tricky thing is to kind of figure out, do I do it better if I do 10 minutes kind of in the middle of the day, my lunch break, end of the day, during a work week, or am I better doing it on vacation? And that's kind of a person-to-person, whether you're a rhythm person or whether it's better when you're out of your rhythm to really do that kind of intensive study. Well, and Cray, I, again, agree with you. I think that, uh, you know, for me, just a, the little disconnect really helps my creativity, helps my productivity, uh, which you would never imagine, uh, but, but it is so. What would you say are the top five uh, reads? Well, actually, I know that Cray actually sent me this morning. He sent me a list of his some of his favorites. Oh. Oh. Cray, do you want to share some of your favorite books with, with our listeners? Sure. The, the first one is a very popular one. It just launched in March. So if you pick this one up, um, you will actually be kind of on the cutting edge. And it's called Contagious, Why Things Catch On by Jonah Berger. The great conversation starter, the great thing when you were talking about branding earlier, this is the sort of thing that latches on to that. It's all about branding and why things are on the tip of the tongue. So it's a brand new book. And it actually covers that element really, really well. And it's a really light read, I should say, too. It's kind of like a Malcolm Gladwell-esque thing. Ooh. Nice. See? And so there's the name I, I know. There's, you know, and it's actually bringing in so that it feels more, so it doesn't feel so academic, I think, sometimes right. when, we're, when we're reading. Okay, so Contagious, Why Things Catch On by Jonah Berger. What's another one? All right, Fundamentals of Critical Argumentation by Douglas Walton. If there's one thing that business people are famous for, it's being really good with numbers and not as great when it comes to reading contracts, particularly on the language side. This is even true with people of MBAs. That's usually why we hire lawyers, except when you're a startup, it's kind of hard to afford them. Um, (laughs) Right. This book is great because it strengthens your reading, and it shows how arguments are laid out, but it also helps you to frame boardroom questions because it gives you really, really tiny chunks of information. Each chapter is split up into, like, nine different segments. You can do them in about ten minutes. And what's wonderful is that it gives you a list of questions you can ask depending on the type of conversation you're in, whether you're information seeking or whether you're trying to persuade someone. And so it's a really helpful book and one that's um, probably better than any other about being a really elementary introduction, but really, really intense um, in terms of what you're able to get out of it. Well, I love it. Craig Kinner is our guest. Uh, Craig, give us some contact information so our listeners can continue this conversation with you. Sure. Uh, You can contact us at 262-442-4507 or go to knurrtutoring.com and contact us there. Knurrtutoring.com, K-N-E-R-R, tutoring.com. Cray, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate your time. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And folks, when we return, more positive business talk. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Do you love your dentist? Well, you should. Dr. Lee Weisbart has been practicing excellence in dentistry for more than 26 years, and she's taking care of some of Denver's most famous teeth. Dr. Lee is concerned with your overall health. You really do matter to her. Don't put off going to the dentist. You need to schedule your next appointment with Dr. Lee Weisbard. Love your dentist again. Visit WeisbardDental.com or call today, 303-773-3373. Hey, Denver, this is Eric. Does it seem that almost everywhere you look, people are driving late model cars that are banged up and scratched? My own neighbor just backed her brand new car into a pole. Accidents happen, and when they do, we want you to know that you absolutely have a choice of where to take your car for collision repair. Nylon's Collision Center in Inglewood offers award-winning service and costs no more than any other repair shop. What you will get is the VIP treatment for both you and your car, and you won't have to haggle with the insurance folks. Call Nylon's and find out how great service is no accident. 303-761-9219. That's 303-761-9219 or online at nylonscollision.com. Copyright issues, partnership agreements, trademarks, LLCs, and intellectual property contracts all need to be reviewed by a trusted legal team. Contact the law office of E.C. Lewis at eclewis.com and be sure your company is in compliance. Don't wait until you have an issue. Build a relationship with someone you can trust today and contact the law office of E.C. Lewis at eclewis.com. eclewis.com. 
Developing a clear message and having an effective strategy for delivering your story are often overlooked, but they're essential to your success. What's the one thing you want your audience to hear, understand, and remember? Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help make sure that when your customers are ready to do business, you are the one they remember. Jerry brings decades of experience crafting just the right message. When you call him, you've just gained a major advantage over your competition. Call Jerry today at 303-594-8016 or online at jerrybrownpr.com. Hi, this is Angel, and I've been in my home for 12 years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff-it-up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720-233-7302. Helene's Designs is a full-service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720-233-7302 or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. Run a business and have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life, and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, Denver's trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. Get a new prescription for your life and tune in to Dr. Asa on call weeknights at 7 on KLZ 560, The Source. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Thanks again for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. We hope this is the most inspiring hour of your business day. You know, uh, if I if I had to collect all the things that I really treasure the most, I think pizza would be in there. I'm pretty sure. All right, I remember New York thin crust pizza. I I remember going through helping you clean up your garage many years yeah. ago so you could put a car in it. Right. And I think um, what you think you value yeah. and what you keep. Oh. Yeah, you you keep a lot of stuff. I need, I need an expert. You do. Well, we we have one. When we talk about what do you really value, we're bringing in the expert Ken Keys because he understands firsthand what it takes to succeed both professionally and personally. For the past 24 years, Ken has shared his success stories with hundreds of thousands of individuals and organizations. He's written over 400 articles two books and appears regularly here on the experience pros radio show talking about what do you really value ken keys welcome to the experience pros radio show uh, it's great to be with you two again ken, good very, morning very nice to have you along with us uh, just a quick question here um you you wrote a book and in, in, in your book the chapter of your book why aren't you more like me you talk about making value-based decisions that are right every time where does pizza fit into that well, it's obviously part of your health plan, Eric. Come on, so I know that that's just the alignment that's going on there. So, <laughs> nice. What do you What do you mean by making value based decisions every time? Well, here's the challenge. I mean, if you were to you're thinking about all the different things that we need to choose, and of course you were had your expert on around you know trying to fit in time, is that there are so many choices, there's so many alternatives that we are actually overwhelmed by those choices, and so I call those situational decisions. And because we have situational decisions, if we're not ranking that, if we're not comparing it, if we're not uh, established and rooted in what our core values are, then everything is going to be clouded or confusing for us. So we need to take the time to establish what are our core values, and there are sort of personal values and what we call motivational values, and then from there base our decisions on it. So if I filter my decisions through those values, it's a hundred times easier than try to do it based on the situation say, well, I don't know if I should take that job or do that business or do that contract. Instead of it, I can filter through what's most important to me. Well, and that makes sense, Ken. I think when we're making big decisions, should I take that job? You know, should we put our kids in private school? But does it really matter in those little decisions throughout the day? Because I think so often we're just making, we, we go through the day making hundreds of small decisions. Does this impact those as well? 
Well, certainly, because we have all these different choices that are going on, and every moment we're always choosing one thing over something else. So, so it's, well, I, have you ever had somebody say that their family's important to them and then they never spend any time with them? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. And Kat so Stevens. we have this lack of congruence. I remember I tell this short story, but a friend of mine phoned me and says, Ken, we have this investment opportunity. I need you to be there Thursday at 7 o'clock. I'll pick you up at 6 o'clock. I said, yeah, no problem, Mike. I'll be there for you. And a quarter to six on that Thursday, my wife phones me and says, oh, by the way, are you going to the kids' concert on your own, or am I picking you up from work? Whoops. <laughs> I said, okay. And I said, well, I've already said I, yes to Mike. And I said, you know, tell the kids we'll videotape it, and then, you know, I'll watch it as soon as I get home. And she says, no, you tell them. So she hands the cell phone back to them. Oh, boy. And my son, who's nine years old at that time, I give him the whole story, so I'm going with Uncle Mikey, and then my son in his great brilliance at nine years old says, Dad, why don't you just say no? And so where did I go? I went to the kids' concert. Now, all of us, are, we have these choices that are in front of us, and, and how can we filter that out? A lot of times we get into situations where we don't really like it, we're not pleased with the outcome. Well, maybe we didn't spend the time to really establish what those core values are so that we could filter our decisions. And one of the things we do in the work in, in that chapter, Why Aren't You More Like Me, is that those are motivational or internal intrinsic values. So things like challenge, things like instruction, things like organization, where I get to the inside of me, and is my life representing those things which are most important to me internally? Ken, this, this is why we have you on the radio show. You decide to go to the to the high dive and do a cannonball into the uh, pool of our lives, <laughs> and, and it is absolutely true. How do we identify those things that are so valuable to us and then break out of this rhythm? Because, I mean, you know, so many of us can relate to the story you just gave. Well, first of all, we got to spend the time doing it. Now, we've put together an assessment that helps people to identify their top 21 sort of behavioral values. There's things what we call contextual values, which they say family, which are not on the list, but things which are these internal ones. So you need to spend the time. So you can get the book and read Chapter 8 or go to our site, crgleader.com, and find out about to complete it. But somewhere, somehow, you need to take the time to identify what's most important to you. Now, what's interesting is a lot of times people have things on their values list which are not their values. And, you know, as part of our workshop that we, we do, I, we talk about individuals and we ask them to sort of make sort of a wish list, and then we take them through their force choice matrix in our assessment, where they make 300 decisions about values in 15 minutes. And as a result of that, sort of the cream rises to the top, and a lot of times their second list does not match their first list. So we have these social pressures, and I shared it in a previous um, radio segment with you is that I grew up on a dairy farm and when I left the farm and all this I first born third generation Eastern European descent you know how much pressure to stay is there was a lot and so I need to choose for myself so are we living actually my values or is it the social values is it my family values is it values that I think and expect from other people and that I kind of suffer through it so I need to do that work, Eric, to be able to kind of get clear to the other side. Mm. Well, and we can all relate to this. We all have the shoulds, right? We all our employees think we should do this. My friends think we should do this. My family thinks we should do this. And and I think we, we become like these little chameleons. And I remember watching, um, what was the movie? Runaway Bride. Did you, are you familiar with that movie, Ken? The I am not. I'm sorry, but I'm sure that my wife is. Well, in this in this movie, she would order eggs depending on her eggs, the same style of whoever she was with. So she would order them scrambled when she was with person A. She would order them over easy with person B. And I I remember watching that, and I know people that are like that 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 they are just the people they hang out with. And you do you start to wonder, well, where's the real you in there? And I think we can all we can all relate to that on some level, Ken. Well, authenticity is critical to be, you know, who is that real person? Now, I know that we, you work a lot with businesses, so just a quick business story as it links to this. I had a business manager who had a credit collection department, and he had, it was a large organization, so there's 40 or 50 people working at any time. So he hired individuals who really cared for other people, and, but his turnover rate in his department was 400%. Because the number one value of the people that he was hiring as we did the assessment of work with his team was tranquility. And the fear of tranquility is conflict. 
And, of course, we know there's never conflict in credit collections, is there, guys? <laughs> right. And so he was well-meaning. He wanted to have the nicest credit collection department in the country. But really, the values of the people and the job were in conflict. And so their engagement, their engagement in life, their engagement in the job was not sustainable. And so that's part of the, my highest level of contribution is when I can be aligned with my core values and have my life reflect that as much as possible and be intentional with all those decisions. And it's so easy to do. I just came across some new research since uh, you booked the show. And here are three or four things that are very, very important of research that's come through. UCLA has confirmed that if I confirm my values, it actually lowers my stress level or cortisol level goes down. I'm healthier because I know that I know that I know. And the University of Chicago did a study it said that when I'm clear about my values, I'm actually more open and less defensive to getting feedback about improvement. I love that. Now, Ken, uh, for the sake of time, can we hold the other two and ask our listeners to get in, t- in contact with you? Absolutely. All right. Uh, where can we reach you? Well, just go to crgleader.com or go to whyaren'tyourmorelikeme.com, which is the book. Or if they want to call us, uh, toll free, 866 852 Four three four seven. Well, and there's lots of assessments, and you can take this assessment yeah. right there, um, or order the assessment at crgleader.com. Ken, thanks so much for being on the show with us today. Always look forward to it again. All Have a right. great day. Absolutely. And you know that uh, this hour has been brought to you by the fine folks over at Romancing the Bean, Littleton's hometown coffee shop. Give them a check out over at the Old Town Depot in, uh, in Littleton, Colorado. When we return, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, customer service. You know we like to do that here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Are you driving your customers away? We'll be right back. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. As your business grows, you'll probably need to move your office to accommodate that growth. Make your winning move. Call the premier business mover in Colorado, Checkmate Moving and Storage. Our professional experience team will work with you to develop a winning strategy and get your company up and running in no time. Call Barrett, schedule an estimate, and make your winning move. Checkmate in one move. Checkmate Moving and Storage. 303-346-MOVE. That's 303 303- 346-6683 or visit us online at checkmatemoving.com So the guys and I were looking for a place to bring Jim for his birthday somewhere you know grown up, dignified for his 40th. I remember that board meeting my company had a few months ago at the broker restaurant. Turns out they had a specialist her name is Sarah. In five minutes I had a free private party room, birthday cake delivered and Jim gets his entree half price even though it was a few days after his actual birthday. Sarah is my new go-to girl. The Broker Restaurant, 821 17th Street in Denver. TheBrokerRestaurant.com, bring them there. Hi, I'm Dave. My wife Krista and I have created the award-winning Simonson team with REMAX Professionals and want to put our expertise to work for you today. Looking to take advantage of the historically low interest rates as a buyer? The small number of homes available as a seller? We'll give you honest answers and be with you every step of the way. The Simonson team, our family helping yours. Give us a call at 303-229-6026. That's 303-229-6026 or online at simonsonteam.com. Come fly with us. That's right, fly with us. At Sky Venture Colorado, we fly every day, and you can too. Experience the thrill of skydiving at Colorado's only indoor wind tunnel. Great fun for kids from 3 to 103. Sky Venture Colorado is one of those don't miss activities, and it's right in your backyard. Check us out on the web at skyventurecolorado.com and then come on down to Lone Tree and come fly with us. Perfect for parties or team building with your coworkers. It's Sky Venture Colorado. Referrals are the lifeblood of a thriving business, and everybody wants them. Bill Gates says that referrals come through who you are, not what you sell. The Certus Professional Network offers huge opportunities to give referrals by providing a venue for people to form relationships, share resources, and grow their business by first helping others. Sound like a great group? It's because they are, and they want to meet you. With more than a dozen events each month, Certus is the professional network for you. Plug in at CertusNetwork.com. That's C-E-R-T-U-S Network.com. You make all kinds of plans for your business, but have you planned for the event that you may need long-term care? Did you know that you can have long-term care insurance that offers you tax advantages and a guaranteed rate of return? 
Walt Wilson is a licensed agent working in the financial services segment of the insurance industry, and he's a pro when it comes to long-term care. It only takes a moment to register for the next free webinar that could literally change your financial outlook. Visit privatepensiondesign.com today and click the LTC webinar tab. Dave Ramsey Show. Live the dream. You know, what are you doing? You're giving up two years of 30 grand to be able to go do what you're supposed to do, and you don't need the money to eat anyway, right? Listen, very few things in money or life make sense when you trade the future for the now. You do a bad future to get a good now, very seldom is that a good move. Take the bad now to get the good future. Everybody pays a price to live and to win. Dave Ramsey, noon to three on KLZ 560, The Source. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. You would never say that to your customers. Leave me alone. You're listening to the home of the Extreme Customer Service Directory. And yet, sometimes people just drive people away. You know what? That's what they... And we've all been on the receiving end of that. And we're always amazed that, that somebody can stay in business. But our next guest, Glenn Boyle, said that, that or actually just wrote a book called The Fine Art of driving customers away. He's an award-winning author, former syndicated radio and TV host, and an entrepreneur who started 14 companies, nine of which, he said, has made money. The brand new author of The Fine Art of Driving Customers Away, Glenn Boyles, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you, ma'am. It's good to be here. Well, Glenn, let, let's start with uh, why would people... Do, do they do it intentionally? I, I can't imagine that, that people would drive people away, but, but yet they offer horrible customer service. Well, sometimes you think they are actually doing it on purpose, but no, I don't think they are most of the time. But it's amazing how many people are doing it on a regular basis. Well, all right. So, so you know, I've always said the customer service isn't uh, isn't a place to return stuff. It's not a place to to complain. It, it's uh, from the moment I start thinking of a business, that's where customer service starts. Who is? I don't know if we want to really identify. In, in, in... Are, are there companies that are just offer really awful customer service? Do you have cable TV? <laughs> <laughs> I love how you answered the question. <laughs> yeah. All right, but they're still in business. Uh, you know, Eric and I were once invited to, we used to do customer service training before we were radio hosts, and we were invited into a, a company to do to do some service training. But they said, you know, everybody here has to buy our service. And it was similar to a cable company as mm -hmm. far as the service. Everybody here has to. We don't have to offer good customer service. They don't have any, any, op any option of where else to go. Well, the, most of the cable companies are like that. And, mm -hmm. and then I hate to mention cell phone companies too, but mm -hmm. typically up until just recently, you always had a two-year contract. So there wasn't really much you could do. There wasn't, and I think that as a that as the consumers, our hands are tied, and they know it, and and they it's almost like they thrive on that, Glenn. <laughs> it does seem like it sometimes. All right. You know, there are things, there are strategies strategies that a customer can use to ensure that they get the best customer service possible. Oh, let's talk the, about that. Sure. What 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 is one such strategy? Well, I think the biggest one, and for me personally, the hardest one, is to start out being very polite and not being especially demanding. Now, usually when you're, you've got a problem, you get a little bit upset, and you bring that into the, to the um, conversation with a customer service person, and typically that's not going to help. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that makes a lot of sense. I, I, I can't even imagine going in with, with an attitude and expect to get anything but attitude back. Well, you know, if you think about it, and, I, and I'm preaching now and preaching to me because typically when I go into a store that I've had a problem with, I'm not happy. Mm. And, and I, I have to think real hard about taking my own advice. Shouldn't you just sit down at a restaurant and say, uh, hi, I'm Eric from the most positive business talk show in America, and I'll be evaluating you for the next 20 minutes? <laughs> you, can, you can do that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to flash that badge. <laughs> All right, so so Glenn, are there ways when you when you find yourself in a in a 
in, a, in an environment where obviously customer service culture isn't high on their list and, and serving the customer isn't isn't their top priority and yet you you are their customer and you have to do business is there a way to actually create good customer service out of them well it's a lot harder for the customer to create it but yes you can like I say the first thing is being polite and smiling and, and acting like you're trying to help them to some degree because most of these customer service people especially in these bigger national companies they're sitting in a little cubicle and they're on the phone all day long or if you go in person they're sitting in that little cubicle and they're doing the same thing all day long they get bored they get frustrated and most people that come up to them are not very happy and they don't project happiness or anything else that would be conducive to a good experience so if you can start that way it's going to make a big difference. Other than that, um, there's some things not to do. Don't threaten. Doesn't do any good. Uh, ask. And yet, that's our. You, that's like our first defense, right? That we want to no, threaten. Well, yeah. uh, you know, you do, do you know who you're talking to? Or, hey, um, I want to talk to your manager. Right. And of course, neither one of those really get a lot done. Isn't that funny, though? It's like we know that, though, Glenn. It's like we know that we know, but <laughs> what else can we do? I, I need you to take care of me. I need you to give me some good service. Glenn, let's, let's shift the conversation for just a minute. Sure. I know we've talked about the customer experience and, and what the customer can do to affect positive uh, service. But what about the responsibility of the, uh, the business? And, and where do they, uh, how, how can we, business owners, develop a customer experience that is likely to go in a positive direction. Well, you know, I think it's it's the it's the same thing. Most business people know what they should be doing, and they know how to provide good good customer service. But they get into bad habits. They don't train their new people, especially younger people, what customer service really is. Um, customer service is serving people, and most of us don't want to be a servant. Mm. And and yet that's the industry we're in, though, right? Well, that's what they tell us. <laughs> <laughs> but, but a lot of times we don't act that way. You know, that, that cynicism uh, c comes right to the top from the author of uh, The Fine Art of Driving Customers Away. <laughs> Nobody's going to raise their hands if you ask the question, how many of you are interested in driving your customers to your competition? And yet we need to read this book. We need to understand that we have an opportunity here. And it's a golden opportunity to keep our customers' retention being one of the most important things. Glenn, where do we get a copy of your book? Well, you can go to my website, glennboyles.com. Uh, but sometimes people misspell that, so I made it a little easier. You can go to primecustomerservice.com. Primecustomerservice.com. All right. Mm -hmm. I love that. And, and, of course, you can go to Amazon.com or bookstores or wherever, but uh, that's the easiest way. All right. Another tip from you on how to improve our customer service? Well, I think basic training people need to be trained in your particular procedures and what it means to serve your customer in your situation you know you go into a lot of places especially smaller companies and there is really no customer service training so people just act the way they normally act and quite frankly today if you're a teenager or or in a 20 something and have never had any kind of training you're probably not going to act in the best way to serve a customer yeah absolutely and we put we and that that person that's actually interacting with our customers is so valuable to our business it it doesn't take a lot to offer some training you don't want them just winging it out there in front of your customers because if something goes wrong they're going to screw it up right oh i have some some stories in the book that are just unbelievable and when you talk to the people that actually did what was in the story they're just as nice as they can be and just as polite as they can be but they just didn't have any training well you're the real deal glenn boils glenn boils dot com and uh, glenn where, where's a number that we can reach you for customer service training and um, perhaps even as just an evaluation of our our business model as it is sure 904-465-0771 904-465-0771. Glenn, thanks for joining us. We appreciate you. Yeah, I, I listened to your show today, and I really like your show. You guys need to be in more markets. We got here as soon as we can, and we are the fastest-growing business talk show in America. Wherever you are, we'll be there by the end uh, of the year. You're in Florida, aren't you, Glenn? Yes, ma'am, in Florida. 
All right. Well, we'll, we'll have to uh, we'll have to connect with you outside of the show. Thanks for listening. Uh, have a good one. Thank you. All right. You're listening to the most positive business talk show in America. We'll be back after these messages. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. If your garage door has springs, you need to know Don. Your springs will fail, and when they do, Don knows that one size does not fit all. When your garage door needs repair, you need a spring expert, not a salesman. You need Don. Don's Garage Doors is regularly fan dragged about because they offer the best service at a fair price. Dependable repair and expert care makes DonsGarageDoors.com your one stop for service when your springs give up the ghost. Call Don at 303-794-0604 and ask for the experienced pro's lifetime warranty. When promoting your business, you're building your brand and establishing an identity. Mindstorm is your promotional product partner with access to over a million unique trinkets, giveaways, and branded swag that will help you engage your audience and expand your reach into the market. Mindstorm is a member of the Advertising Specialty Institute, and their online catalog has it all. Search for anything under the sun or call them at 303-660-6909, and they'll prepare a custom presentation. Get noticed. Get the business. Visit yourmindstorm.com today. Mindstorm. Engage your audience. Flowers make all the difference. When you need to say I love you, I'm sorry, or I was thinking about you, order flowers from a bloom in the Highlands Ranch Town Center. A bloom has the most beautiful arrangements and the best gifts. Visit a bloom today to say what you need to say with flowers. Tell them you want the Experience Pro Special, a $10 upgrade to your bouquet. 303-470-1700. 303-470-1700. Or visit a bloom.com. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals, and if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out, and if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. Your business is growing, but your computers are slowing. We can fix that. We're C-Squared Computer Consulting, and we can help you take on the challenges of your growing business by helping you get the most out of your systems through availability managed services. We provide reliable protection with 24 by 7 system monitoring. Check us out at c2cc.net or call us at 303-933-1113. That's C-Squared Computer Consulting at c2cc.net. Hi, this is Eric. Have you downloaded the new Experience Pros radio show app for your smartphone yet? Stay connected with Angel and me at your convenience. Meet other business revolutionaries who value extreme customer service. Fan brag at the moment you receive great customer service and use the Experience Pros radio show app to browse the archives and find that segment that made you laugh with us. Go with the pros 24-7. The Experience Pros radio show app is available for free for both iPhone and Android smartphones. Dave Ramsey Show. Fear grips you. Your failures can define you. And you've got to make decisions to not live your life that way intentionally. The way you do that is you read things and you put good new thoughts from thought leaders and people who have spent time mastering their craft into a book. That's why books are so rich and they're so important. Charlie Tremendous Jones used to say, five years from today, you'll be the same person you are today, except for the books you read and the people you meet. Dave Ramsey, noon to three on KLZ 560. The source. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experience pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Charlie's tribute to my former career little uh, prestidigitation. Oh, is this a tribute to you? Yeah. Do you think that all magic songs are for you? Absolutely. Is it about you? Absolutely. Always. Okay. Everything she does. All right. It's magic. Okay. magic. You got magic. it. Magic. All right. You can do a magic trick for us on the radio. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Might make this segment where my co-host disappear. <laughs> We're glad that you're back. Let's talk a little bit about how to spring clean your business. It's that time again to get... Uh, Get things fresh, you know, with, with the uh, the budding of the trees and so on. I just can't help but uh, think uh, we, we need to go through and dust off 
our business practices. You know, and, and this is a great time, and you can see because people, when the sun starts spending a little bit more time in the sky, I think we get a little bit more energized and jazzed about, about our business. I want to make two notes, though. Before we start this, and one is that we missed Back It Up Day on May 2nd with C Square Computer Consulting. I forgot to tell everybody to back up their data. Whoops. And so this is a good day. Back up your data. And what was the other one? Oh, change your passwords. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Change your change passwords. Your passwords. Otherwise, you're going to get hacked and uh, spammed by uh, somebody who has ill intent for you and your brand. All right. So. You know, I think when when the winter is is among us, we spend a little bit more time networking because it's the it's the downtime of when we're busy, and so we're out there trying to acquire new customers and build up our list and make those content ta contacts. Can I say that we're adding those contacts into our newsletter? And we're trying to acquire customers because typically those wintertime months aren't as aren't as productive and, and busy as far as sales go. Right. If you've got that that ebb and flow or those mountains and peaks and valleys into your business, and so if that is you, if you've spent the last several months growing your list, adding to your contacts, right. acquiring new a prospect, this is the time to focus on customer loyalty. Yeah, nurture those relationships because once you get into that that uh, relationship and again you may say to us well you know there's too many I don't know how to do it. Stop. Let's just see what you can do. Yeah you have right now you're sitting on that gold mine. You bet. And so often we get really distracted about about new and meeting new people and going to new events and meeting new people and adding them. We need to really focus right now, I think, on that loyalty and follow up and connecting with our customers. If we think about the three P's that long time ago, do you remember James Fisher from the Growth Curve sure, Institute? Of course. He talked about the different stages of your business. One talking about people, one talking about profits, and one talking about production. Is that what the other P yep, was? Yep. And so I think in the beginning of this year, you're kind of getting your ducks in a row. You're setting everything up, getting that foundation to grow your business. And so the production side of it, now we focus on the people and building all of those relationships in this next quarter. You know that you mentioned James Fisher. Of course, you can find more information about him at sustainablebusinessgrowth.com. Really a genius uh, when it came down to calling how business grows over these seven phases of development. And uh, interesting that, that I, we find ourselves in uh, right in that flood zone of between uh, stage one and stage two. Now, when you work with a business coach and <laughs> yeah. and then they're like so spot on, right? You almost think they're like got this magic eight ball, right? And, and this crystal ball. And how did they know? Right, right. And as business owners, we think we're the only one going through these different things that nobody alone. else can imagine and nobody else can relate. And yet it's pretty typical, the, the cycle that your business goes through. So true. So uh, in one way to just check your or, or update your spring cleaning, if you will, for your business, go to your website and take a look with a, uh, a, a neutral eye, if you're able, to see, are, is everything working? Is it fresh? Is it updated? Is it, is it uh, helpful? Or are there some dead links? Are there some stale pages? You there are. Just so you know, I didn't even have to go to your website, and I know. Wow. There are. I mean, how often is everybody, I mean, unless you've got somebody that is working full-time and keeping this all updated, and you've got a full-time staff working on this, it's outdated. There are dead links. There are things that should not be there. We don't need to see everything you've ever done in your whole entire, it's, you know, I think when you're brand new, think about this, when you move into your new home. You put out just a couple of things yep. and it's all de decorated and everything kind of matches and everything kind of flows. Your website's the same thing. These are the services we offer. These are the things that we do. And it's very simple. It's clear. It's easy. But then you add a blog and then you add an e-commerce site and then you add some new products and then you add and you add and you add and it starts to get really cluttered. It can. And so this you is You know who's got time. a great website from my, my perspective hmm. is the Certus Professional Network. You know, I mean, it's dynamic. It's always changing. It's, uh, and yet I don't think it's cluttered. It, it's got all kinds no. of great information laid out very nicely. CertusNetwork.com, C-E-R-T-U-S, Network.com. And I think it's a great example of, of uh, what you can do. And look at it, use it as a model. You don't have to do exactly what they do, obviously. But, uh, you know, check on that. Well, just making sure that you're all up to date and that you're clean and that the dates, especially if you're blogging or if there's anything that's that has a date on it, that it at least has something from this year. 
You bet. Here's another thing to uh, to do to spring clean your business. Uh, ask your your top level qu- customers three questions: What am I doing right? What are we not doing right? And what should we be doing that we're not doing yet? All right, those are good questions. Absolutely. That's simple. Simple. Now, yep. you often want to, I think. You know, send this out in a in a survey. I think that's the the quick and easy way, and we'll send it out in a newsletter. And then we're always so disappointed when we get, don't get the responses. You have to remember that people are very busy, and if you're sending this out in an email, it's very unlikely going to come in at the same time as 50 other unnecessary emails. So if we're really going to be focused on customer loyalty and building those relationships and focusing on the people. These are conversations that you have on the phone or in person if you can. Come out from your desk, come out from behind your computer. Our friend Tommy Wolf says that the computer is this great big like myth that we all want to sit behind it and think that we're actually interacting and reaching out with people all day long because we're sending emails and we're tweeting and we're liking and we're posting. But at some point, you actually do have to come away from the computer, put some real clothes on, and have some real conversations with those customers. And you don't have to ask every customer. Pick a handful. Pick a fi- pick your favorites. Yeah, pick the pick, top producers. Or pick those you haven't had a connection with. Oh, there's an idea. Recently. And give them a reconnection where you're not actually selling them something, but just trying to add more value to the relationship. Absolutely. And finally, in your spring cleaning of your business, uh, check out your expenses. You know, at least once a year, you need to go through and find out, uh, are you getting a good rate for, you know, things like your utilities, your phones, just shipping services and so on? Do you need to make some changes? Can you get a better price? Can you get a better relationship? And remember, those two don't necessarily trump one another. There, there's the different values uh, that go along with those. But make sure that you're doing business the, the way that you want to be doing business, not necessarily the way you've always done business. And that's it. You end up getting yourself in just a rut and a routine and you haven't reviewed the services that you're getting. And there might be more more services that are more apropos to where you are in your business yeah. stage now. You might have a great income uh, model, but you might have a huge expense model as well. And if that's the case, every little bit counts. So there you have it. Uh, a couple of different ways to uh, spring clean your business, and, uh, and and hopefully get a good jump start back into the uh, the the really busy time of of selling. You know what? And this is a really fun time. I think people are more open. Um, I think that that once they've, if you've, especially if you've been connecting with them throughout the year and you've got some connection with them, this is a great time to create that, those loyal bragging fans. Put a fun campaign in front of them. Give them something fun to talk about, to share your brand. And of course, our friends over at Romancing the Bean in downtown Littleton would love for you to bring all those fun new clients out for a cup of coffee at Romancing the Bean. Absolutely. Thank you for listening to the Experience Bros Radio Show, where it is our stated mission and accomplished goal of giving you nothing but the best in business. You can find all the, the uh, businesses listed in our extreme customer service directory that are going to serve you. And if one business is not there, let us know. We'll contact them. We'll be right back after this station ID.